Not to start off on a negative note, but as you can see, this parking lot is absolutely full. I've been to this park twice this year, and it was full both times. As you can see, I had to park on the boat unloading stretch. So it's not like those other YouTube videos you see, which is what got me here, people saying that they didn't even see anybody else. Now, everybody here probably saw those same videos, and they want to be out here all alone, but you know... They all flock to this place, and here we are all on top of each other. So just know what you're getting yourself into. You might not have an actual parking spot when you get here. So just excuse the camera work on this clip. I'm just using it for a filler. I just want to give a quick disclaimer before the fishing. Uh, if this is your first time coming out here, uh, I don't want it to be like my first time. So I had just drove that 10 hours, and the parking lot was full. I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm not going to get a spot. And then three other cars show up. There's three other groups of people, and we're all trying to pick what campsite we want to get. Just throw all that out the window. You show up after you've bushwhacked your own car parking spot. Just grab all your gear, pass that kiosk up, and go find a camping spot without anybody in it. Make sure you have a campsite map. You can get it off the website. Once you have that camping spot picked out, you put all your stuff there, then you come back to the kiosk and then pay. It's, I believe it's $10 per person per night. And the kiosk has envelopes and just bring cash, which that's another thing. Like I didn't know what the deal was. I didn't know you had to pay. I thought since I had that sticker on my car, I didn't have to pay. Well, that's wrong. You need that sticker for the rec pass and you get to pay more money. Isn't that nice? So anyway, without further ado, uh, here comes the fishing. Yes, got him again. Small mouth. Oh, this one's a pike. <laughs> I just hooked and lost a small mouth. Whew, that's cold. Holy crap. So it's day two, we fished all morning. He hooked one and lost it, but now it's like really windy. So we're gonna sneak back into the coves. We're gonna see about getting into Clara Lake if that's even possible, that'd be kind of cool. But yeah, off we go. Here, turn it around if you can. There's it still on your line. Caught a little small mouth, not bad. Little guy. Man, he's got a fight in him. Bye bye.
about to shove off and see where this goes. Hopefully catch a fish or two. Go, go, go! Freaking beavers. Just like old <laughs> Infiltrating the beavers territory. Oh man, I'm about to have a pike and salad. Ugh. Oh, he got himself off. Oh man, that was a nice small mouth. Just caught a pine cone. He's towing you. <laughs> Look at him getting towed. Oh crap, he's huge. Is it what is it? Right. Yeah? Nice. Oh yeah. Dang. See? We didn't bring the net. That means that we would catch a nice pike. Yep. Whoa. Not one of them break this line, it's not very heavy. Yeah. Dang, that is a nice one. You know where the tape measure is? Laying back at the campsite? I got it, I got one. Oh. Where, in here? Yeah. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on. God dang. Dude, your your things are so <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right, here. <laughs> there he goes. Look at <laughs> you're so <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta get a picture. I gotta get a picture. <laughs> this is gonna be a fun couple nights. Finally home. Day three, heading out. Hopefully catch some more stuff. This is the last day we can really fish, so. Hopefully the rain holds off. It rained all morning, but the wind's not bad right now. That's a plus. Yesterday it was super windy. So, try these rocks out here right in front of our campsite. Caught one here. The first night we were here, caught two of them actually, so. See what happens today. All right, didn't get 
anything at the rocks, but just came out here first cast on this thing, this grass cluster. Off he goes. It's pulling him again. I'm coming. Is it big? Yeah, it's okay size. Not as big as that other one. Not bad. Be a pretty good one to eat. Oh. Too bad we can't. And I'll never know. They wouldn't. This one is tiny. Oh, got wrapped up. Look how cute. Bye-bye, little pike. We're out here on, I think it's Beaver Creek. This is the bridge you can walk to pretty much from the entrance. So yeah, it's really windy on the main lake, so we decided we'd try shooting up the creek and see what it's like, and it's been all right so far. This wind is insane today. I'm gonna go around the bend again. See if we can make anything happen. It's gonna be the final evening we can really fish here, so. Hoping to catch some more. Some Pretty shallow rocks up here. This guy took it right at the boat. You got a pike? Me too. Here, oh my God. Here, lift yours out. Nice. Off the weed beds, not the rocks. Just little guys all day. That'll let you keep these little things. But they are fun to catch. Another tiny guy. He freaking engulfed this thing too. Ooh, smallmouth, I believe. On the bomber. Oh yeah. Nice. Look at that. Awesome. Oh my gosh. About time I saw a smallmouth here. My cousin caught one, but I have not caught one yet this trip. Not bad. It's good to know that the bomber will actually catch something. I've been freaking using that bomber for hours now and freaking nothing. But it has provided finally. Took it right under the boat, boom. Another tiny pike on the tube. Trying for smallmouth. Come on, 
Oh, shoot. Oh, no, I'm about to destroy this tube. Right here by the Portage to Claire Lake. Little spot. It's getting pretty destroyed with waves. I'm surprised. I was just mainly drifting down here to see what that sign said. But yeah, got one on the tube. Yeah, look at this spot. If this does not scream smallmouth to you, I don't know what will. And she provided, I just missed one. I'd say this might be it. As soon as I freaking cast out here, I hooked one. As soon as I, oh, it's a nice one. Nice. Yes, boys, yes, look at this one. <laughs> He's going crazy. Look at him. Whoa. Look at him go. Holy moly. Look at this bad boy. Nice. All right. That is a nice one. Nice. Look at him. Awesome. I need to, my hair's probably freaking crazy. Awesome. We'll hopefully catch something with this tube. This thing bit it right at the bottom of the, oh no! Poor guy, he bit it right at the bottom of the rock by the time my GoPro started. Recording is <laughs> already up. That poor guy. I guess he's uh, alive. So it just goes from totally windy and choppy to pretty quiet. I mean, listen to this. It's dead silent. 